DIY World War One U.S. British Canadian um, SVR gas mask. First thing we're gonna need: glue, hot glue. Uh, let me find the gun real quick. The gun. Some cardboard, which we already have laid out in front of you. Some sort of hose. And then you need a rag. Um, so here we have the already built one. It uses tape just for now so that I could take it apart and make it for this video. So, first things first, let's get this thing off so I can make this. Now, as I'm getting this stuff off, I want you, I want to say that depending on the outcome of the mask, it could be reenactment worthy, and it could not be. Um, most likely not. But it all depends on how good it is, and you have to be pretty good to get this to reenactment standards. Um, mine, uh, the one you'll be seeing. In this video, will not nearly be close to reenactment standards, and it will not be functional. I mean, come on, how do you do that? It's gonna be pretty tricky. Um, but I will see you when I'm done taking all this tape off. Okay, so step one for this video: we are going to take cardboard and wrap it around the size of our face with a little cardboard band here. Um, if you have a fabric strap, put that there, and preferably a another strap that goes from there to there. So it should fit your face nice and snug. Enough so you can talk, and also enough so that it stays on in place. Next, I'm going to take a rag. Uh, let me get this piece of tape on, or off. Anyway, you can take a rag, and you're going to cut two wire sockets right here, and a socket for your hose the diameter of it and then you're gonna cut around the gas mask so it fits to this loosely now we're gonna take this and make sure that the top part of the strap is facing up and the eyes are facing up and then we are going to take the edges and fold them up like this, and then we're going to hot glue them on. let it dry. Once it's dry, we're going to take our hose of some kind and we're going to attach it. Oops, let me say that. We're going to take our hose of some kind we're going to attach it. So, we'll take here, on this bottom part, and on this top part. Get that nice and on there. And then we'll take our hose, stick it 
right on the edge of those. Like that. And then I'm going to take this and put a little dot there. Stick that on. Wait for it to dry just enough so we can flip it over. And then we'll like flip it over. Put a little dot glue here. And then put it over. Put it on. And then like that. Now in the corners, or in between the dots that we put there, we're just going to put it quick little dot there just to help keep it on during intense airsoft BB or nerf wars just so it doesn't fall off and the top part fell off and make sure try to make sure that doesn't happen on like that now we wait for that to dry Hold on, let me get this off the carpet we're going to make a charcoal filter so first you need a nice long rectangle like this you fold it so it makes a little thing like this, the writing stuff on the inside so it's nice and clean outside. Try to get to make sure there's no tape on here. I will work on removing that real quick. Now that you have the tape off, let's go ahead and take this little part here. glue right along here and then stick it right there I want to let that dry uh. it's drying if you don't want to sit through all this you could get some scotch tape and just step one one or two maybe three strips on there and you could easily take them off it would hold them in place for long enough for the glue to dry so here we go we got this that on one finger get one So that should hold it in place long enough for us to trace out the bottom and create the bottom and top. Our top one, our top part of the charcoal filter, we're gonna take this, we're going to put a hole in it, the diameter of the hose. And if it breaks in two, then it breaks in two. We just we only have one more extra piece to stick on. Now that this is dried, take our bottom. We're gonna glue glue points right here, one right here, one right here. And then same for the other side, there, there, and there. Right? that in there and try to keep your fingers off because that will create strings well your fingers off the glue because that'll create strings um, fly everywhere and kind of ruin the look so we have that now 
flip it over. Take this. If it's ripped, put the ripped side on the inside. No big deal. Now, we're going to take this. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And you put that on. Like that. And we're going to do the same with the other side. So, now that we've done this, flip it over. We're going to put two little dots of glue. Oops. Out. We'll put a stick of glue in there. So, we're going to take that. One. Two. Three, four. And then, if you would like, you can put an extra dot in the middle. So now, we flip over the top side gotten time to glue and hold into place. We put a dot of glue here and there to help hold it in place. And maybe an extra dot if you would like to. I'm gonna wait for that to dry real quick. And this is almost dry. you like to do the scotch tape again thing, you can. I'm going to do that real quick. Boom. Just one for each side. Flip it over. Drop or a line. Depends on what you want. Or how sturdy or clean your line is. I've cut. Scotch tape. One more time. And then it again. Uh, try not to fold the scotch tape. And that should hold in place for the glue to dry. Now, our gas mask, the mask itself. is dry. Now, we're going to cut out two circles the size of our eyes cardboard. Our eye sockets. Now, I'm going to basically we're going to do what we did for the hose with the eye sockets here. Um, so we're going to take our glue gun and glue the top part. And then we're going to stick that on right there. And then the bottom. And then we stick that right on the edge there. And then we leave it to quick. It'll dry just enough to keep it in place. And not enough to withstand a false war. And then we're going to do the bottom, or the side, glue that onto the side, like that. Wait real quick. And then we're going to put a dot right on there.
corner right here. Stick that there. Got another corner here. Stick that like that. there stick that on and then we'll dot a glue on here and stick that on and then any holes you can see like this, just put a quick dot of glue and stick that on. So far, we have this, and we're gonna do the eye on the other side now. So now we have these parts in. If you would like to take some plastic, clear plastic, and put that in there or something. Now that's probably dry. Let's glue that on. Take this. Put a little dot there. And we just spread it around right there. And we stick it in like that. Wait for that to, let, to dry, and we will almost be done. Now we do this for the second side. Now you wait for it to dry. The glue uh, here. Good. Good to go. Just put an extra little reinforcement here and there. Just to cover up those holes. And take our scotch tape. myself on the glue gun. One more piece of tape to go. And I got it off. This is dry. There's only one more step to do. Now, this last step Could write a little number here they had. I'm guessing it's for the company you were in or something. The platoon or the regiment or something. And then you go ahead and trim all this extra stuff 
just hanging off the edge. Now with that, you are done with your DIY British, American, and Canadian SBR gas mask. I'll see you in the next video.